tricky bastard. Leslie, what are you doing? Look at Anne. She's putting on makeup. She's using the emergency mini curling iron that I gave her. She has a date. You don't know that. Why wouldn't she tell me who it is? Because she doesn't want me to know. Because it's someone she shouldn't be dating. Wait, the music's better. Have you seen Chris? I don't know, maybe he's in the bathroom or something. She's going to meet Chris. Little Sebastian. Yeah. At first, you did not understand what made this tiny horse so special. And now you love him more than I do. Yep. I miss him every day. <sighs> really tried to make that hard. I'm yeah. very impressed with you. Yeah, some of them were kind of tough. <laughs> so are you ready to go have our first ever Valentine's dinner? Yes. But I have to tell you something. Chris and Anne are on a secret date, which is crazy because he's her boss, which is the exact situation we were in, except we were put on trial for it. And I know I'm not supposed to care, I'm supposed to let it go, we should just have a romantic dinner. No, we have to go catch them in the act right now. Really? Yeah, screw romantic dinners. Let's go rub it in their face. God, I love you so much. I cannot wait to see the look on Chris's remarkably youthful face when we march in there and confront them whoa, whoa, about whoa, whoa, all whoa. the- what? Ah! Oh, oh. April! Hey, April! Tom and Anne are on a date. I know. What do you mean you know? How do you know? Because I set them up. I was watching Anne with Tom at the dance, and she seemed to be having a good time. So I went over and talked to her. What are you looking for in a date, anyway? I don't know. What does anyone want? Just a nice, funny guy who likes me and treats me well. Tom's funny, and he treat you well. Ha, ha. I'm serious. You want a good date, why not ask out the only guy that's made you smile tonight? He's ridiculous. All that dumb swagger? It's an act. He's sweet. You should just ask him out for a drink. I'm a thousand percent sure he'd say yes. I bet you guys would have a good time. Man, I need to, like, wrap my head around this. Why? It makes sense to me. This is a small loser town with loser people, and Tom's, like, at least semi-cool. You know what I'm hearing? You tried to make Anne happy for Valentine's Day. Ugh, You're a very nice what? person. No. You're nice. Yes, you are. Very nice Bye. person. Bye. I do not understand this. This really confuses me. Well, you do love them both. Yeah, but I love passionate speakers and Italian men. Doesn't mean I love Mussolini. You love Italian men? Not as much as Irish. Scottish? White. Whatever you are. This is the weirdest Valentine's Day ever. So, and it's finally happening. Dude, this is so close to falling apart. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Can I be honest though? I'm a little freaked out. Like, I don't really understand what's going on. This is what's going on. We're gonna have a drink, and we're gonna talk, get to know each other, and then I am going to drive home alone. Cool, consider this alternate plan. We have drinks here, get to know each other, whatever. Then, we go back to my place, snuggle up. Like little bunnies. Yeah, this was a mistake. No! <laughs>